We're gonna take right footwork here. All right, so we're taking a right zone. We're gonna be stepping at two o'clock. Our landmark on a man is the V of the neck. On inside zone, in tight zone, we're working to hit the landmark in the V of the neck. Once we hit that landmark, we're working for ver vertical displacement, trying to dislodge that defender. All right, understanding that defender has a gap responsibility. So as I'm working to drive, as he slips off, or I lose my landmark, as soon as he slips off, we turn what we call heavy arm. We're going to run off the ball, we're going to hit that landmark, as soon as I blow the whistle, we're working shot put to heavy arm. On the shot put to heavy arm, we're doing it just like we're throwing a shot put. Our hips come into this. This is not an upper body shove. Okay, it's a heavy arm, but the heavy arm represents our hips and lower body. Ready. Nice, there you go. Nice, good. So again, we are simulating that if that guy is disengaged, working his gap, we are no longer connected, so we're going to take him horizontally to expand the gap. When am I utilizing heavy arm? As soon as he does what? Yeah, as soon as he's slipping off that block. As soon as I feel like I'm being disengaged, as soon as I feel like I'm no longer maintaining my responsibility in terms of hitting that via the neck. As soon as I do, that's when I'm taking him horizontally. I'm not just going to let him fall off the block and get out in on the play and two hat on the back. Okay, that's what we always want to prevent in offensive football. Don't let the defense two hat the back. What do I mean by that? Two ball, two defenders converging on a ball carrier. Right? That happens. You're more inclined to do what with the football? Put it on the ground.